While the pandemic literally crippled the Jamaican music business, it's not all gloom and doom for its exponents. For some have, during this dreaded time, discovered their most prolific artistic selves. I'm ready. Among them, Christopher Martin. As we speak, Martin has a number of songs in heavy rotation on Jamaica's most popular radio station. Yeah, yeah. Christopher Martin, right now, right here on our stage with the premiere of perhaps the biggest track of the lot you will never find. Chris, sir. Welcome, <laughs> sir. So good to have you. Wolba, congratulations. No respect, no respect. Always a pleasure to be here, man. Yes. Always. And much of what I'm saying, Bridging, some of it we assume to be so. Mm -hmm. Some of it we don't have numbers to back up. So right. you jump in for me and see and correct anything that we have said or, or didn't <laughs> say. <laughs> no corrections needed, man. Oh. No uh, corrections. And that I'm going for true. For 100%. Oh, my goodness, my brethren. <laughs> Let me say this to you. I am hearing you all over the place. And I'm saying to myself, this has got to be Chris Martin's biggest moment in his career. Again, no corrections. No corrections. I'll give that to you. 100%. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. You're that's definitely what I correct. Thought, and I want to confirm that. Yeah, man, because it's, it's such a wonderful time for me right now, to yes. be honest. Um, as you say, with the whole pandemic that is happening, I, I, I found myself. Yes. Yeah, you know, because over the years I've, I've gotten complacent, probably gotten comfortable with where mm -hmm. I've been in my career. And, you know, um, with my team that's around me, Kingy, Robert Livingston, you know, um, people who are closest to me, like, you know, um, they're not enablers. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they're watching what's happening and, and they made suggestions and I listened. Yes. And we've just been working. We've been in the studio this downtime because I, I, I was so used to traveling every week and mm -hmm. doing shows and all of that. And then the pandemic stopped that. And I've just used the downtime to just live in the studio. More focused. Yeah, I'm more focused on my writing, more focused on my recording, just more focused on my craft. Little Green Apple. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that song, Dennis is rendition. Yeah. He's not the original. True. He's, he didn't do the original. Dennis Brown's rendition is yeah. the one that inspired you. It is the one that inspired me. That's, that's, that's the one that I knew first. Yes. So after hearing the Dennis one and, and people were saying, that's not the original, that's when I went and I found the original. But you yes. know that guy already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D Brown is the one. The right. D Brown one. That is the classic, man. That okay, is the so, classic. so how did you come to, be, to want to do it? I've always loved that song. Yes. From a tender age. From um, my... My, my uncle, who is a Rasta man, big up cutter, mm -hmm. when I was in Back Pasture, he, he introduced me to people like um, Garnet Silk, Jack Cure, um, a lot of the, the reggae singers, because my father introduced me to a lot of old school kind of love songs. Yes. Al Green, Otis ah. Redding, Sam Cooke, Duke Ellington. That was my father kind of vibes. And my uncle introduced me to the Jamaican side. So when, when he introduced me to D Brown and, and listened to Green Apple, I was, I, I was in love from, from Jump Street. I love that song. So when I came into music, I always said to myself, if I get the opportunity to do any song, Little Green Apples is one of those oh, songs really? I have to do, yeah. So, you know, fast forward, I got signed to VP Records. They were doing a compilation of some D Brown songs. Um, and they gave me the opportunity to sing one of the songs. Yes. And all of the big songs that people know were on that list I could choose from from love and hate to um, all of them. You name them. Mm -hmm. They were on that. And I said, I want to do Little Green Apples. And they're like, Little Green Apples? I'm like, yeah. yeah. And trust me, Jeremy Harding, he was the producer of that one. And as he said, I did not disappoint. And I'm so happy. Oh, yes, because <laughs> the, the fans would be hearing it from yeah, the man, fans. Yeah, so man, then it's brown. It, it, it got away, man. It, 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 just, it just catapulted. Like, once it was released, and I would go some places and, and I would hear it and I'm like, yeah, they like it, you know, but I was weary, like I was saying, you know, some people have songs that are special to them, <laughs> like really dear to their heart. And like, you go and touch it and you don't touch it the right way. Like, yes. you know, it can become a love-hate kind of situation, yes. but it's a love-love situation right now. The people who love it, they still love it. They love my version and they're like, oh you my did God. Dennis justice. Bridging, remember me say yes. <laughs> 
Because, you know, you listen to everything. You yeah, want to respect. hear all the intonation, <laughs> everything. Respect, man. And Brad Jing, the thing, I roll it is. proper. It is, man. It total is. justice. And it shows that it's coming from your soul. Respect, respect. We feel that soul. Because a man can't just take a record like that and deliver what you delivered on no, it. No, If no. he's not feeling that song. No. So I'm not surprised that it, it, <laughs> it found you when you were young, much yes, younger. Yes, yes. And I've been singing it from, from, from a tender age to now I'm, I'm, I'm what, 16 years in the business. And I've yes. been singing it from, from a little youth. Yes. You know, so it's like years, years of singing it, years of, of feeling like this is my song, you know? So when, when I got the chance to go in the studio and, and just deliver it, yeah, man, I just vibes, man. Vibes. Oh, boy. 100%. <laughs> In female fans, they will be crowding, you know. Yeah, they're ready. They're ready for me. So it, it's so nice, you know, because as yeah. I'm saying, I, I always tell you, I, I always tell you in all our interviews, women are my core fan base. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're my foundation. I them say Chris Martin. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so with, with, with this new kind of vibe now on this Dennis Brown track, May I bring in all of Dennis girl them with me now, you know? Yeah. Listen, Virginia, you're serving them, Chris. You're serving your fan base, and now you're serving Dennis's fan base. Yes, well. man. Yes, man. You know what I mean? All right, so the next big track is the one called You'll Never Find. You'll Never Find. Yes. Mm. Yes, I. Jeez, I'm peas, I'm man. Wow. Trust me. How is it doing? Because when we hear that, that song again, mm. that song found me. Yeah. Yeah? yeah, that song found me, not me finding it. Yeah, yeah. And I said, well, but hold on, I who this? I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the song is puzzling, but I can't, it just get, it got me the very first time. Yeah. And every time I hear it, I want to hear it again. I, uh, and then I found out that it's Christopher Martin on the record. That it is my song. Yes, and it's, and it's original. <laughs> yes, original. And that's, a lot of, that, that's the question a lot of people ask me. They're like, ah. Uh, You'll never find I love that song. Who's the original singer? Yes. Like, it's not a cover. It's not yeah, a cover. It's, it's my it's, song, it's, you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is how yeah, man. Oh, instantly classic, this record. Thank sounds. you so much, man. And Thank you so much, man. To, to us. And, and Regging, I just, the video is here. Let, let, let's not talk here. anymore. Yeah. Let us give the people a song right now. The yeah, video. Man. Definitely. This is the world. Hold on, let me talk to me. <laughs> This is the world premiere of this already a classic song. Let's go to it right now. Ah, there you have it. You'll never find. Wow. All the soul you could ever need in a song is in this one by Chris Martin. Wow. Blazing up Jamaica right now. And I'm sure our, our, our fans around the world right now, Chris, yeah, man. are receiving it the same way we have. Yeah, man, definitely, definitely. The love, the love for it is, I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like from, from the very first day it was released, before it was even released, I was like yeah. in the studio and, and I, I went on IG and, and, and I was like, are you ready? And I played it. And like, oh, from that day I knew it was special, man. From yes. that very first day I made that very first post on Instagram, I knew it was a special track. What do you mean you played it? Like I was in front of um, the, the, the laptop in the studio. Mm -hmm. I was in front of the, 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 the screen. And so the session was up, the session for, 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 for the vocals for You'll Never Find. And I, I was just like, I looked to the camera, I was like, you ready? And I pressed and it started playing. Okay. Yeah, man, and ever since I posted that, like just the comments alone, Mm. I, I knew we had something special. Who are some of the names credited on this record? Yeah, man. Um, Robert Livingston is the producer of this track. Mm -hmm. He's the producer. He's the brainchild behind everything. Like, okay. Yeah, man. He had a melody in his head, um, and, and he shared the melody with me. And I was like, yeah, man, it's so good. Um, mm. Nice melody. And um, so him and Sean Antoine, they got to curating the beat. Mm -hmm. like, Awesome, awesome beat. We call it world music. It's not reggae, it's not dancehall, it's not pop, it's not... It, it, it's <laughs> world cares? music. It's world music. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, and, I, and, I, and I finished writing the melody he shared and we recorded mm -hmm. that song and really loved the song. We thought it was a strong song. Yes. So he went home listening to it. I went home and was there. He called me. I was like, Chris, I think you can give me something different on this video. I, mean, I said, mm -hmm. better than we already have. And he said, yeah, man, just, just try it. And the first thing that came to mind when I started writing was, do you really think that we can be just friends? 
See you acting cool as if we were nothing. I was like, I like this. Yes. And it just went from there, and that's how you'll never find. You, 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 you sometimes yeah. like your own song that much, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you, it's like um, yes. I, 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 I believe in myself so much, and I love music so much. Yes. And I just feel like the Almighty gave me this gift to share it. Mm -hmm. Even though, like, from the onset, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted the music. You know, I, I just knew I could sing. You know, but over time, I realized that this is my calling. Mm -hmm. And that's why I love to tell people that music chose me. So when I hear a song, like, I, 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 I've written a song, and I, I feel it in my bones that mm -hmm. this song will do something special. And that is how I felt when I finished writing You'll Never Find. I never even wait on Bossy. I never even wait on Robert. When I went back to the studio the next day, he wasn't even in the studio. I just started recording. And when he came in and he heard it, he was like, yes, this I, is what I thought. You know, was. I can feel <laughs> what record sound can do yeah. to a person. Yeah, man. What? Unlike you, sir, I cannot express <laughs> it. <laughs> Trust me, man. I, I, you I are a lucky man to be able to do that. That's all I have, wish to do. I, love I wish I could do something. Yeah. I could express music the way I receive them. Yeah. Because, you know, you get, you get a, a, an energy, a vibe, and you can't yeah, express I, it. And, and it I, all right, but when somebody on. like you do it and drop it on us, on me, Bridget. Feel it. Yeah, Yo. It's like, it's undeniable. You know, it's like you see a girl for the first time, there's no set. It's love you feel. Yes. You can't go around it. It's not lust, it's not like. You see her, it's just an energy. Mm. A vibe come over, it's different. You're on attractive people all over. You see beautiful girls, but something about this girl yes. is energy. You can't go around energy. You understand? That the currency of music is all over this. Yes. And what's interesting is kids are singing this record. Kids, like kids. Y really young kids. Really young kids. I'm talking yes. like four years old. Like mm -hmm. them just start talking and they're singing the song. You know? They're singing the chorus word for word. Yes. Even they don't catch the verse as yet, once it reaches, you'll never fight. They're singing it. You know Easy I mean? listening <laughs> record. Commercial, super yeah. clean. You don't Everybody. have to be, be interpreting nothing. No, no. Just let the song flow through your head. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. I, it's one of the best feelings ever. My brother, I, <laughs> I commend you. I, I wish I were, were you. <laughs> I could, if I could make a song like that, Chris, I'd, I'd leave everything else. I'd just do music. Uh, anyway, my friend, so how, what is the, the, this moment in, in, um, done for your career? What, what's the impact on your career right now, Chris? It's a big change. It's a yes. big change. It's a big change in my energy. It's a, it's a big cha change in, in how I view myself mm -hmm. as, as an artist. You know, there, there are always levels to it, you know? And it's like, let's say they are, they're, you're at like level five and, and, and you're so cool and you're complacent mm -hmm. and, you're, and you're calm and you're like, level five is a good level. You know, I'm gonna have to kill up myself, yes. you know? And then you realize that there's a next gear. This song is something, is, is a song that kind of gave me the full realization that the sky is never the limit. There's always oh, right. boundaries yes. for you to cross and, and go higher and higher. And this song, is, is, you know, when, when people say the possibilities are endless, and like, it's cool to say it, but when you actually feel it, like mm -hmm. you can see it, like, this is what this song is kind of giving me that kind of energy. Your catalog is now affirmed. Yeah. 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 Aff officially affirmed, to my mind, as one that is, will last forever. Thank you very much. This is a catalog now where, where an artist can proudly say, I will eat my food in music <laughs> for as long as I live. For as long as I live. Yes, Bedrin, because yeah, these records aren't going anywhere anytime soon, man. Thanks a lot, man. That yeah, was man. the aim from Drum Street, longevity. At the end of the Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Yeah, man. At the end of the day, it's longevity. It is cemented, my friend, and you've done it in a time when there was so much um, distraction and so much emphasis on, on newness and, yeah. and, and, and dancehall and, and all kinds of hype and violence and explicit sexual material and those things. Yeah. And you stayed true to yourself. I True know to your call in bridging, and you're, and you're doing it in a time when, when, when so many people um, can't even eat a food out, I think. You will find a way to, to revitalize yours and to cement your, your place in, into timelessness. 
Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Congratulate that. you, Reggie. Yeah, man. We thank you for your music. Because when I listen to a record, I feel different. Yeah. And that, that, that is the when, purpose. That is the sole purpose. When pressure I reach my bridging, I'm going to listen to a record like this. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm cured. You know what I mean? Top compliment that, my boss. Yes, sir. I appreciate that. I appreciate and, that. And, and so I say to, to artists, those who can do what you're doing. Yeah. Don't who have it. the artistic ability. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do it. Be, believe in yourself. Yeah, the man. people still consuming good music. Yeah, man. Believe in yourself. Believe in your craft. Believe yes, in the lane man. that you're in. Like, like my lane, my lane. The people gave me that lane. Yes. You understand? I of could course. only, I could only be true to myself. Yes. You know, and and it does. I love to say it doesn't matter which way the pendulum is swinging. Whatever topics are popping right now, it doesn't matter to me, because the people have grown to love and respect me for a certain kind of music, and I've been in that lane. So why switch up a good thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I would, I would never ever try to jeopardize the fans that have grown with me over the years for new fans. Yes. You understand? I'm all about keeping my existing fan base, adding on new fans. That's all I'm about. And the people have, they love this kind of vibe from me. You know, so I'm just going to keep giving it to them. And I feel like I'm repaying them with this song. <laughs> I'm repaying their love and, and, and their loyalty, you know, so it's a great feeling, man. I would like to see how crowds res react to this. So. Yeah. As yeah. soon as the place opens up, back, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> the world opens up. I'm, I'm particularly interested in seeing how women in particular yeah, man. respond to this record. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? It, 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 will, it will be a vibe, man. It, it will be a, a very, very, very nice song for interaction purposes. Yes. You know? So oh, it's, gosh. And, and, and I can hear I them love. singing yeah. it. Yes. Yeah, man. I can, I can hear a mass choir, an audience <laughs> becoming a mass choir for you. <laughs> yeah? I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. You yes, can see it, man. I'm super happy. I'm Chris. super, super happy right now, man. Red Jig, <laughs> it's good to see you, sir. Enough respect, my Congratulations. Boss. And keep up the good works. Thanks sir. a lot, man. So that's him. Christopher Martin. Cemented right now in the annals of Jamaica's music forever. That's my view, OK? And I, I'm, I'm ready to contest anyone who, think, <laughs> who wants to take me on at it.